If you use Windows 7 and your copy is not activated, then you might know very well. A battle between heart and mind goes on. Your heart forces you to compromise security and go for an illegal Windows 7 activator, while your mind does not let it happen. It is no big deal if you don't like to use an antivirus but the problem arises when you even don't imagine to use your PC and the internet without having an antivirus. You download and try to install a Windows 7 activator to pirate your copy of Windows 7, but antivirus promptly comes into action and blacklists it as a security threat and asks you to delete it. If you still want to use it, then you will have to disable your antivirus. On top of that if you disable your antivirus and manage to activate using Windows 7 Activator. Whenever you enable antivirus, the antivirus will promptly blacklist and show you activation status as not activated. I have gone through the same situation. When I lost the product key of my copy of Windows 7, activating Windows 7 was very important to me. I tried several times to buy from websites that Google shown me while searching. But my heart was not satisfied so I gave up. I checked local online stores as well as Amazon. But prices were out of reach. As well as I came to know that Microsoft officially has stopped selling Windows 7 during my research. After spending a week on research. I took a risky decision to give a try to marketplaces where cheap Windows 7 product keys are sold. I chose Kingwin and bought a cheap Windows 7 professional OEM key for $24. They gave me an OEM product key for single PC use with Windows 7 CO a sticker. I used my PayPal account, but credit card, Skrill, Bitcoin and other payment methods can also be used. I contacted their support team and asked some fake questions for testing purposes. I found support team very active and supportive. I feared that it would not work, but fortunately I managed to activate my copy of Windows 7. I did not have to contact or call Microsoft for activation. All the process was pretty easy. I bought it in July and now it is October and it is still working. I found no issue till now. The downside of it is that, since this is an OEM product key, this is why you can't verify the product key on the Microsoft Software Recovery page to download an ISO image file of your desired version of Windows 7. As Microsoft only lets download those who have a retail product key, you will have to use an official source to get an ISO image file to make a bootable USB or DVD to install or reinstall Windows 7. You may watch my previous tutorial on downloading Windows 7 ISO image file. After activation, I am able to get updates from Microsoft. And the best thing I did later on was that I successfully upgraded my copy of Windows 7 to Windows 10 without any issue and right now I am using Windows 10 that is activated with a digital entitlement. In short, I got a genuine copy of Windows 10 for just $24 while Windows 10 Professional Edition is normally available priced at $200, as well as I can still install or use Windows 7. I am very positive you have found today's video on cheap Windows product keys helpful and informative. I hope your search and problems are now over. If you have got any question please use the comment section. I will be trying to solve your problems as soon as possible. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share.